Welcome everybody to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can actually run a custom map in Atlas locally as a single player game. Now I have run many servers before and I've often wanted and wanted to be able to test my server grid, my map for servers locally and it's always been a problem with Atlas. And I did some research and I found a way of doing it. Now there's not much information on the internet on how to do this and a lot of information out there is a bad workaround is probably the only way I'll say it. I look kudos to the people who have put the to information out there because they're trying and they're doing the best they can. Um, but I was never satisfied with it. Now let's just quickly create he'll do as you can see take note spawn region we've got four islands now we're actually about to load into the uh, well that's not what I wanted uh, the vanilla map that actually comes with um, Atlas at least in my Atlas it does so let's have a look now the reason why we're coming in here is so that I can point something out okay we're on a free port island that's all good that's perfect so let's go into our map and if you notice we are here we go we are on this freeport island here in cell b8 now that's actually rather important just take note b8 very important just remember that b8 i'll show you the reason for why that's important shortly so let's just back out of here that's not what we want we don't want to be in the game we're here to actually play a custom map so what you'll need is the if you haven't already got it the server grid editor this is a tool that is used for making maps for atlas and you as you can see i've got a shortcut here to my atlas folder this is the install folder in steam so make your you will need to make your way into the install folder for steam and um, have access to it at least so to start with let's just very quickly make a map um, create a project and we'll call it uh, local atlas we're going to make it two by two now to make a, a map for atlas each cell has got a maximum of one million four hundred thousand unreal units because we're using unreal engine and column utc offset uh, i found standardly putting zero in here is what is required so we hit create and let me just open this up so you can see it if we zoom out as you can see we've now got a map framework we've got the four cells but there's nothing in there let's actually make this a little bit prettier let's use oh, i don't care which one that one will do now as you can see we've got cell names a1 b1 a2 b2 we've also got cell coordinates 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 okay that's important actually because i'll show you once we finish making this map i'm going to quickly load up the, the vanilla map that we just had a look at and we're going to have a look at cell b8 but to start with let's just quickly throw this together now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just grab some islands toss in here in fact i'm going to put three islands in each cell and we'll just grab a power stone island we'll just throw that in there and come down here we'll grab that one you know, I'm really not caring about what the islands are. There we go. And let's just come down here. Let's throw some. Uh, uh, there we go. We'll put that in there. And we'll put this in here. And the reason why I've avoided a B2, because we're going to make that our, our free port. Now, in the map editor, if you've ever played around with it, you'll probably know this. But if you're new to it, any of these island names over here that is end with just an underscore E. They are actually free ports. They are the free port islands. So let's just grab three of these free port islands. See if I can find another one. And I probably can't see E for the life of me. But there'll be one here. There's one. Toss you in there. And I'm sure there's another one here. Yep, there's another one there. So we'll drop that in there. Okay, there you go. Basic map. And if I just get rid of this, you can see there's our basic map. Now there's a couple of things we need to do for this to work. We need to flag this cell here as the home cell. Now the way you do that is you hold control and click anywhere in the water and when this edit server 11 
to cell one one when that comes up just come down here near the bottom and hit home server hit save bingo that's all we need to do there then we need to come up to edit and edit spawn regions and in here under name we type in freeport and under parent cell we need to put the cell coordinates now in this case for b2 it is one comma one no spaces just one comma one and hit save and that's it we have now got a working map now i actually don't really want the lines and i don't really want the the, the information there so we're just going to turn off the island names we're going to turn off the server info and we'll even turn off the lines we don't need that really and we're going to save this now i have created just a folder here called custom so we're just going to dump it in there and then we're going to hit export export all and we're also going to put that in custom and there we go export and successful now as i said we're actually going to load up the vanilla map and the way we do that is project open yeah i know go away now we're actually going to there's a couple of ways we can actually load it up here it's part of the server grid editor so let's just open that up oh we've got a funny background let me just change the regional water background because we need it to look better and we'll turn on the server info and we're looking for b8 and i think see this map supplied with the server grid editor is different it's an 11 by 11 but it's different and well guess what that's not what we want so that was a little bit of a waste of time wasn't it so let's go over here and go to we need to go to our atlas which is in history library history maps common atlas shooter game and this is what we want this one here let's bring that up hey that's more like it give us some lines so we can see it now we want b8 where is b8 show server info b7 oh can even see it it's ever, she says freeport and pay attention or take note b8 is actually cell coordinates one seven this is actually pretty important there's one comma seven very important so we'll come back to that shortly so let's just close this we don't need it no more yes go away now let's open up the server grid there we go and we've opened up atlas let's go into shooter game and we've got server grid folder which has got the whole map in here and we've got server grid json now I've actually done this tutorial a couple of times and messed it up each time so as you can see i've already made a backup of these so easy select both of them so click select one control click the other one right click go send to compress compress zip okay let's just do that and then we're going to delete both of these uh you sure you want to send to the recycle bin yes go away now back in our server grid editor we'll go into custom and okay there's nothing in server grid there but we have our server grid.json so let's just click and drag that across over here okay so we've got json back come back to server grid editor now when you do an export with server grid editor it actually puts it into the export all the images and stuff going to export so let's go into export and there it is so let's click and drag that across here and just to verify that's our map we'll come in here and open this up come on open this up there we go there's our map good okay so we've now got a custom map in atlas so let's see if it works now i'm going to a little bit of a spoiler i'm going to ruin it for you it ain't gonna work let me just delete that because that's actually the old information from the def the default game vanilla map so let's just jump in here And this will land us back in Carrot Creator. The slowest part of launching the game. There we go, Carrot Creator. Now, I can already tell you that there's a problem. And if you have done this before or you've played the game before, you can see we have got nothing listed under Spawn Region. That seems a little bit wrong, it seems a little problematic and well it is very problematic oh, no, and create pathfinder and oh no we are drowning quickly let's get out of the water no and um well we have no island we didn't start on island i can't see any islands anywhere 
But if we have a look at our map, we can see that we are actually right at the joint of four cells. And if we zoom out, we can see this is actually our map. It's a two by two map. These are the islands we put in. And yet we can't actually see any islands. Let's see if we can just pick a direction and hopefully, hopefully I've picked one where it's heading towards. Okay, we're going that way. And I'm, I'm doing this just to show that this is truly a completely broken map. Uh, I mean, if you've tried doing this before yourself, you've probably experienced this exact same issue. You've loaded your custom map into this, the game, you've launched it as a single player game, only to have this. We've got nothing but ocean. Ocean, as far as I can see. Now, as you can see, we're heading towards an island. We should be able to see it by now. We're above the, 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 the water. We're up quite high, yes. Oh, in fact, we should be almost pretty much over top of it. And if we have a look, yeah, we're pretty much right on top of it. Now, there's things in the ocean, as you can see. We've got we've got a loot loot box down here, but there's no island. And that's what we're here to fix. So let's just go back to the main menu. I'm going back into here. I'm going to delete this. Now. I'm actually going to launch a single player game again. And this might seem strange because we just did this and it was broken. No, bear with me. It's, this is, this is ridiculously complicated. No, ridiculously easy. Okay, I don't even need to do anything here. What we're going to do, I'm just going to hit escape, exit back to main menu and exit the game. Yeah, I went into character creator, then I exited the game. Now we go back into our atlas. Now we have a look in shooter game. We have got saved, so we're going to saved. We've got this saved atlas local. Let's go in there and you can see there's two files here. There's ocean 00 atlas and last grid coordinates. Now, first up, I'm going to delete the ocean 00. So, yep, go away. Next, I'm going to open last grid coordinates and this big long number, which I believe is my Steam ID. And so yours would be a different number. I'm going to open this with a text editor. Notepad, Notepad++, it really doesn't matter what text editor you use. And as you can see here, we've got server x equals 1, server y equals 7, home server x equals 1, home server y equals 7. And this is where our problem is. This is what is stopping our custom map, our U-Butte map that we've just spent hours making. This is what's stopping it from working. Now, if you had a look, if you had to remember, I should say, when we had a look at the vanilla map, B8, which is where you start in the vanilla map, is cell 17. These numbers sort of ring a bell, don't they? Now, I've done a lot of testing, and server X and server Y, these two numbers are used when you first create a character and you first spawn into the world. These are the cell that it looks at to find a location to spawn you. Now in our case, we've got only a two by two map and our home server, which is where we want people to spawn, is cell one one. So we'll change that to one one. Now, I know I just used the term home server for this because that's where we want people to spawn. So we've made that match. Now home server, this number here, this is the in quotes, home server as shown on the map when you die. If you die, when you have the option to, to, to spawn at the home server, this is the cell that it looks at. So if you've got two Freeport locations in your world, you can actually have one of these set for, this is where I want them to spawn in when they first create a character, and another one, this is where I want them to spawn if they die and they want to spawn back at the home server. Now in our case, they are one and the same, so we'll make these both one, one, and we just Save this, close this, and launch our game again. I mean, it's ridiculously simple. Now, the reason why we have to do this is because Graveshot, in their infinite wisdom, have actually hard-coded cell B8 as the home cell, as the Freeport cell. And that's why it flagged that 1-7. Now, we've loaded into a map that doesn't have a 1-7. So the ocean, 
which is the underlying system that they use for making Atlas, the Ocean plugin for Unreal Engine, it loads fine. That's we have an open ocean and all the stuff that goes in it. But because we're loading into a non-existent location, because we don't have a 1.7, a, a B8, it actually causes an internal error when it comes to trying to generate islands. So it generates no islands. And well, we saw the result. Now, because we've been into the character creator before, now we needed to to create that last grid coordinate file, you can see it says that we've got data here. Well, we don't want to touch that, we'll leave that alone. We want to just go straight into single plane. And that will take us now back into the character creator, which we didn't complete. We went into, but we then backed out of it. We didn't complete, we didn't create a character or anything. So this will now take us back into the character creator. There we go. And if you had have noticed just up the top right hand corner there, that uh, we actually have some islands listed now under spawn regions. That's pretty neat. And there's three of them. Ironically, we actually put three Freeport Islands in. So let's have a look and see if that actually fixed it. And create Pathfinder. And it's thinking hard. Oh, look at this. Unfortunately, it's the same as the island on the default game, but looks of it. I ironically happen to have just picked that. But let's go out, make our way over here. We've got all of our NPCs, crew recruiter. And to verify it, let's bring out the map. Wow, that seemed a bit weird. I thought it was still broken. And something about the map is still broken. All right, map. Huh. Okay. The map is still accurate. Unfortunately, it just looks like it hasn't rendered in and loaded in all the island seeds. It's messed up some of the, the island maps when it comes to loading in. But that said, it hasn't broken the game. In fact, the game is now, in quotes, fixed because we now actually have a working island and we have got working NPCs and we've got working animals. Get out of our cat. And this map is now playable. This map is now playable as a single player map. Our U Butte game map that we spent hours creating, we can now enjoy it locally without having to, to go to all the trouble of financing an actual server or running a dedicated server ourselves. We can now play it all locally and enjoy it. Or if you're a server uh, editor, or a developer who creates maps for Atlas, this now will give you the ability to test your maps locally before going to all the expense of uploading them to a server. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I hope it, I made it nice and clear. It's, it is pretty straightforward. Once you actually know, it is really straightforward and simple to actually do uh, and fix. So hopefully you found it useful, like I said. And if you haven't done so, please, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. That way you get notified when I upload some more stuff. Mostly, I'll, most of the stuff on my channel, as you probably have seen, is um, VODs, um, video on demand, VODs, whatever you want to call them, from Twitch, from various gameplays. I do have the occasional tutorial like this one. So if you're interested in if I do have more tutorials in the future, yeah, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon. And I would very much appreciate it if you do find this useful, please leave a comment below the video. I want to hear from everybody who actually has had this problem and whether this has been helpful to them. So I would have much appreciate it. So thank you very much for stopping by. And like I said, I hope you found this helpful and that it's cleared up some of the mystery behind why you can't have your local or private single player games to be custom and, and so until next time thank you very much and happy sailing